Well, uh, let's do one thing. Let's thank our technical guests and move on to Siddharth Kemka, the head retail researcher at Motilal Oswal, who joins in. Uh, Siddharth, hi, good morning, and thanks for joining us on the show. I want to start with SBI, which is clearly the stock of the week, right? An 8% rally this week, large delivery based buying, sitting at a record high. Do you think there's more headroom on the upside? Yeah, uh, Sonia, good morning. Uh, good to be on the show early morning. Uh, so I think, see, if you see overall results, uh, uh, the banking sector have kind of uh, continued to deliver, but there has been some concerns with regards to the NIM compression. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the, the, the larger concerns for the banks has been the, uh, the growth in the deposits. Uh, luckily for SBI, these concerns have not been that bad. Then the limb compression is not uh, that high compared to some of the private peers. Uh, even on the uh, the um, deposits growth has been pretty strong. And to back it all, the valuation seems to be pretty comfortable. The uh, market kind of continues to like uh, the overall PSU patch. And if you see the overall results uh, that have come so far in terms of uh, the interim numbers, Again, uh, within the banking space, we have seen that uh, uh, the NIMS of PSU banks have stood resilient uh, with several of them reporting sequential expansion in terms of margins, while private banks continue to see the NIMS pressure. So I feel within PSUs, uh, SBI continues to do well. We definitely have a very positive view on SBI and we feel there is still room for further upside uh, as well as re-rating both put together puts uh, SBI in a very uh, sweet spot. We have a very positive view with a buy rating and a target price of 800. Okay, all right. Uh, hi, Sid. Morning. Uh, good to see you in. Sid, what about Zomato? You know, uh, yesterday the numbers looked pretty good. The stock did pop up, but then it did see some bit of selling, though they're still continuing to, you know, guide that Blinkit turns around in the first quarter of next fiscal. Yeah, Nigel, good morning. So, so I think pretty good set of numbers from Zomato. Finally, the quarter came in where they turned around on EBITDA level and started reporting a positive EBITDA. Uh, overall, uh, strong uh, beat across uh, street expectations as well as our, our expectations, revenue growth of uh, 15% sequentially, almost 70% growth Y and Y. And just see the beat of almost 60% beat in terms of uh, uh, the revenue growth and largely driven by the non-food where Blinkit was pretty strong. Uh, on the EBITDA level, it turned positive, uh, reported a margins of 1.6% against one uh, negative 1.7% previous. So sequentially, we've seen the first quarter of uh, EBITDA profit and we believe that uh, the company should now uh, report healthy EBITDA for FY24 as well as uh, FY25. Uh, so FY25, we are expecting a EBITDA margins of 4.5%, which should lead to a net profit of about 360 crores for this year, uh, but a massive 1,000 odd crores, 950,000 crores of net profit for FY25. So we believe that uh, the uh, long-term growth story for Zomato is pretty strong. We do not expect uh, much of uh, competition, uh, which could intensify in the near term, despite the entry of ON ONDC in the space. We believe Zomato would continue to be the market leader. Uh, we have upgraded our target price to 170 from 150 earlier, and we see another 18-20% uh, upside in the stock uh, based on the current results. Any thoughts, escorts, after the numbers and, of course, what they've said about the guidance? Yeah, uh, so Prashant, if you look at uh, escorts, the volume numbers were already seen, which were uh, we saw the tractor uh, numbers a bit weak. Uh, but Q3 numbers were clearly below our expect, uh, estimates. Uh, the recovery in tractor margin was lower uh, and a weak tractor demand uh, volume uh, was down 7% in the third quarter. So while uh, the company again has uh, lowered the expectation, they expect a 6 to 7% volume decline for the overall tractor industry uh, for FI24 and also uh, highlighted that Q1 uh, could, be, uh, uh, could be weak if uh, the elections are announced uh, during that set, set period. So not much buying could happen. Uh, so I think we, it's, it's a very cautious stance right now uh, for the next uh, two, three years, the volume growth for overall tractor business could be uh, a, a very low single uh, digit. And uh, also because of the high base uh, of the last uh, FI23 and because of which we could see a slower growth. Valuations are at high. Uh, market seems to be a bit positive because of the change in management with uh, the Kubota taking over the escorts and that is why a little bit of premium. Uh, but apart from that, don't see much uh, positivity from the numbers. So uh, we'll remain on sidelines. 
Uh, m and could be a preferred pick because of the other businesses that they have apart from uh, the uh, tractors. So the SUVs which are picking up well for them. And that is why we could see a better uh, pick in m and compared to an Escorts. Okay, and Escorts has uh, cut their guidance, as we told you. FY24 industry guidance has been cut to minus 6 to 7 percent. More on that in a bit. But in the meantime, I also wanted your thoughts on some of the large caps coming out with numbers today. There's Hero Motor Corp, there's Tata Power, and Tata Power has been at a fresh high for a while now, 52 week high. Uh, you like any of these names ahead of their numbers, Siddharth? Yeah, Sonia, I think uh, within the uh, auto spec, we have been very positive on the two wheeler space. Uh, Hero Motor Corp will come out with results. We have expect a very strong quarter. Uh, in Q3 because of uh, the festive season as well as the uh, the wedding season uh, in the December, November, December. Uh, so overall, we are expecting total volumes growth, which was already declared is about 18% volume growth. Realization should be steady. It should lead to a revenue growth of 20%. Margins are uh, is seeing a sharp improvement on a Y and Y basis. Uh, and hence, we are uh, expecting a strong pad growth of 46% uh, for uh, the, uh, the third quarter. And uh, uh, we, we remain positive with a buy rating on Hero Moto. Uh, we believe uh, two wheeler space could continue to do well uh, within the overall auto pack. And within that, also, uh, Hero is our preferred pick. Right. Uh, well, thanks a lot for that, uh, Siddharth. Have a great day, a good weekend. We have just